So when I tried to kill myself, I took about 100 downers and I really thought that would do it. I wrote a note, the whole thing. I blacked out. And the worst part about trying to kill yourself is waking up because I woke up and I was like, you are fucking kidding me. In fact, that was the first thing I said my hand to God when I woke up. I went to the hospital, the emergency room. I went in and I told the doctors exactly what I had done and taken. And I didn't know just by telling them that they have to put you on a psych hold. I texted my cardiologist and I said, what do I, what can I do to get out of here? And he said, they have to keep you 72 hours because of all the stuff you took and everything. And they also ask you if you wrote a note. And I said, yes. And so by being honest about that, that's another sign that they go, okay, she didn't just take all these meds that are in her urine sample she admitted to writing a note so they judged the seriousness based on some questions is it more and, serious to write a note yeah yeah i think they think that means you, you mean business so i think i just thought i could talk my way out of it go home and just kind of recuperate and i remember saying to the doctor like okay well this is great thank you for you know the saline i'm fine i'm gonna head out and he was like no no you're gonna stay you know and um I said, no, no, I'm good. And then I go, just, I'm not going to do this. But what if I just like pulled out the IV? I'm just asking. And he pulled back the curtain. He's like, see those two cops? They put the bracelets on you. And I will never forget that expression. The bracelets, the handcuffs. And so I was in the knock bin for three days. And they, you know, I, that, I talk about that in the show because there were parts of it that are funny because it was so crazy and it was Wait, so... Wait, so when did you realize By that the way, you... I'm 59 when this happened. Right. Because nobody ODs at 50, like nobody reaches their bottom, as we say in 12 Step, at 59. This happens to like 19 year olds. No, no, I think it happens to everybody. 59. So, so when so, are you told you can't go home? When, uh, after about an hour, well, when they first said, we're going to put you on a 5150. Oh, they say that to you. And because I've, of course, done material in my act about Kanye and Britney Spears, I know exactly what a 5150 is. And then I started trying to talk my way out of it. And that's when they pulled back the curtain and that's where the cops were. And then they just process you like any other time you're in the hospital. And then did they walk you upstairs? Is there a, are you in a lockdown? You're, well, you're on, you're getting an IV of saline. Right. So you're already tethered to an IV. So they, they just roll you in the gurney and they i actually did get my own room which was good and so i was just in a room for three nights and they had this poor woman that would sit at the foot of the bed and i honestly didn't understand what was going on you didn't and i would you didn't say, know that's like a suicide oh my watch gosh. right Oh my gosh, Consuela, you should go. I'm totally just going to fall asleep. I know I'm being boring today. And she'd be like, oh, Miss Griffin. But like she wouldn't <laughs> say anything. That and she I has really to be there. didn't know that she's the suicide watch person. You didn't know that. And I just, because I, I thought that was for crazy people, not me. How do they make a decision then that your 5150 is done? Are there people coming in and interviewing you? A psych, I guess it would be a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist, well, an MD, came to the room. She asked you a bunch of questions. You don't do a psych eval. She just kind of talks to you. And she asked, do you still want to take your life? And my guess is a lot of people probably say, yeah. You know, so maybe the fact that I didn't and I said, no, I don't. And, um, you know, kind of helped get me sprung. But that's when she right away said, I want you to meet people that are recovery specialists and I like the AA part, because if you don't know 12 step, there's no leader, like it can't be a cult. There's not a leader, it's free, you know, so there's not like, so I was kind of glad that they were AA. -based. Was the issue the addiction or was the issue the, uh, the trauma of everything that you were going through? I think I'm an addict, but I think it was the trauma that led me to really not have a problem until I was 59 years old.